Guys, a uh, while back we saw each other first time, I think in January, right? Uh, that we will show you how this lovely lady is progressing with the treatment for her chondrodermatitis nebularis helices. That's a mouthful. But basically what it means is there is inflammation of the area where the cartilage is on the ear. It come in and it causes the wound both and causes the wound to um, the, the cartilage to become inflamed, traumatized, and leads to a wound that is so painful that you can't even touch, not to mention lay uh, on that area. Is that is that the proper description of how yes. it felt? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, she was referred to me by a professor of mine uh, from Colombia, which she was seeing for the year because it wasn't healing for uh, quite a while. And we talked about different options, and the options we spoke about is cutting it out, trying some creams, and they've already tried creams, and so we decided to go ahead and treat her with uh, growth factors, a uh, certain type of exosomes that will help it heal. And thank you, they trusted me, and we injected the exosomes uh, a, a few times, or just one time we did it? Four times. Four times, four times we injected over four, four times, and it uh, completely healed. And you can see the, the, the picture how it was before, this entire here area was wounded, it was crusted, and this uh, was really very tender. Uh, most often it happens over here, but in her case it happened right there and right over here. And uh, you can see now how the ear looks. And it's, uh, you can see that's where this area was. It's completely healed, just white, and there's no scar or scab. So it did take some time, you know, uh, even though she's young, she's not, you know, 15, 16, 18, and the older we are, the slower the healing time because of a variety of factors, uh, from angiogenesis, from blood supply to oxygenation and uh, plain pressure. So it's kind of like an ulcer from a decubitus. So if you lay down for a long time and you're immobile on the butt, you will happen to have a wound. And the same thing is happening here. The skin is very thin. You're laying on top of the cartilage, the protruding part, and you can try to not lay on that side, but you're used to laying it. You want to sleep, you know, so it's impossible to kind of avoid it. And now she's putting a special cover on top, which is a silicone tape when she sleeps, and that gives it an additional protection, like a new skin. So there's less friction, less trauma on that area when she sleeps, and that so far hasn't come back, which is usually the problem. So even if you do get it treated, it's hard for it not to recur. And so sometimes they cut it out. But you cut it out, and I used to do that. It doesn't matter how nicely you do it, it deforms the ear. Do I use Aquaphor with it? No. Have no. you been using Aquaphor? Yeah. Okay. Good. No, now it's fine. It's completely healthy. Any other questions? It's a little red. Will that redness go away? It takes time. Yes. Yes. It does take time. The darker the eyes, the darker the hair, after any kind of inflammation, there's always redness, or sometimes if it's in the sun, it can become more dark and pigmented. So that's normal. All right, you guys did great. Thank you for allowing Thank me so to much. teach them and show it. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.